Years before she ever thought about coming to the University of Miami, Melissa Briley Miras was already practicing for what would come to be an amazing diving career. She was recruited by then UM diving coach Tom Gomp. We were thrilled to get Melissa, and uh, Melissa happened to come in the first year that University of Miami uh, provided scholarships for women. Uh, as you all know, University of Miami jumped the gun on, the, on most universities in providing uh, athletic scholarships for women athletes. She was one of the first recipients, and uh, I really knew I had a, a champion there. Melissa was a four-time All-American at Miami as the Hurricane Women Divers won the AIAW National Championship in 1975 and 76. One of her teammates was a future UM diving coach, Steve McFarlane. Melissa was probably the most acrobatic female diver in the country at the time. Uh, there, she was doing dives that uh, a lot of men, and I'm ashamed to say, including myself, couldn't do very well. She did them with grace and skill and poise. The thing that really stood out about Melissa was she could make every dive look easy. And I think that that's really the, the class that gave her um, Olympic notoriety and international acclaim. Maris also excelled in international competition as a member of the 1975 USA Pan American diving team and making the U.S. team for the 1976 Montreal Olympics. You could tell that she was destined to be uh, an Olympic team member. She quickly came on the scene as a, um, one of the best platform divers in the country, and uh, she was winning national championships. Uh, she was winning internationally, and you just knew she was going to make that team. And in 1976, she did make the team and, uh, and dived uh, in the Olympics in Montreal, and I know that that was a real dream come true for her. If there was ever a disappointment in my life is that she didn't win the gold medal at the Olympic Games because she certainly had the talent. She was the class of the event, and um, with a little luck, a little better break, she would have had that gold medal. She certainly could have won it with style. But Melissa was also popular away from the pool. One of her great talents was that she could organize all of these terrific social functions. <laughs> she was probably the, the social director for the team as well. And I can't remember going to an international event with her where not only the U.S. divers flocked around her for establishing what was going to be the social occasion, but all the other international divers, especially the East Germans and uh, the Soviets, I think, were very fond of Melissa because she was such a great spirit and a lot of fun to be with. Today, it's divers like Miras that continue to draw new talent to the hurricane program. Randy Abelman is the current UM diving coach. Melissa was the first All-American for the University of Miami. And since then, there's been a long string of them. In fact, we're known as probably, if not the best, one of the best diving schools in the country. And she was the start of that. You know, if a, a high school recruit wants to be a great diver and a chance to make the Olympic team, the University of Miami is definitely a school that they look at. And we owe a lot of that to Melissa and uh, Greg Garlick for starting it out. Tonight, entering the UM Sports Hall of Fame, one of the greatest hurricane divers ever, Melissa Briley Miras.